Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui! We beat the Ice Dra the Ice and Fire Dragon last time. And in this part, well, we're gonna do what comes around, really. From collecting notes to over junk and that. Great, I needed a refill on fire eggs. Oh, look, the alien, he's still dead. Well, okay. Ah, Wumba. Yeah, we should transform. This transformation's a bit strange on how it works, but I'll explain it when we get to it. Guess what we are? A snowball! Wumba call this snowball! Use control stick to move and hold B for big heap roll attack. You notice that we are a bit tad low on energy. Because the way this ability works is you have to roll around in the snow to increase your energy and depending on how much energy you have, then the bigger you get. Every time you take damage you shrink. Simple as that, really. Ugh. Oh dear. Wait, we need to be a bit bigger. Okay, now this is a, this is a max size. Right, you notice there's a Jinjo here, but there's a catch. We're gonna get blown away by the wind. We have to basically charge at it. With all our might as the snowball and we will eventually get it oh I'm right over it oh yeah all the purples all right we need to press some switches as the snowball Okay, okay. Let's just carefully, carefully, carefully roll up. Okay, that's good. Now just make our way over here to where this big train station switch is. Go, 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 go. That opens the ice one, though. Okay, that's done. Now, when we go to the fire side, it's very dangerous because we will gradually keep taking damage from the heat and we will, of course, die. But we have to go there to get something. Because there's a switch to press down. Oh, we're a bit too big, aren't we? Yeah, I could get hurt on purpose. You know what? I'll do that. Because it doesn't matter, because you can always refill just by rolling around in the snow. No, not that way. You're going the wrong way, Banjo. Right. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, not that way. Okay, let's try this way. Because there should be a certain entrance to the fire side to go into. Yes, this way. Now we're basically going to have to race. Because, well, the intensity is going to melt us gradually. Okay. You'll be fine. The, the ice, the fire hands won't bother you as long as you roll into them. And actually, that's all there was to it. Not really that hard. Okay, what's this way? That's where we picked up a jiggy from a different world. Probably from Pterodactyl Land. From um, the stomping planes as Banjo on his own. Right, that's it. 
No, we're, we're too... No, we're still too... We're not big enough. Thankfully, there is some um, snow. You have to roll around here. Okay, that's right. So when we're max size, we can pr we can hit the switch. And that's really all the snowball can do here. Let's see if there's anything worth digging up down there. Yeah, but it's a it's a drill. So yeah, it will find a jiggy if you take a look at the cutscene. But but watch carefully. There's a little hole in there, and it lands in Grunty Industries. You can pretty much figure out the rest yourself. Okay, that's it for the snowball. Now we're going to return to normal, but get this. To fit into Wumba's wigwam, you have to be the smallest possible size. So, because of that, they act, the developers actually put a fire here for you to damage yourself on so you can get inside. Okay, that's it then. So, we just need to go back to normal. In style! Phew! Yeah, we haven't really seen Mumble yet in this world, have we? But we will soon. Well, probably not in this part, because it's just one episode I'm recording on this day, which is... me. Yeah, it's the 15th of August, the Wednesday. It's just I, I got a bit to do. So I've only really got time to record one. Okay. There we go. Alright, Banjo, we need your help. While the game slows down... Come on! Hurry up, game! Oh, gee, I sure hope... Well, I don't know why I'm hoping this, but... You know... I... Wonder... If the framerate issue was fixed when they ported this game over to Xbox Live Arcade. Because, you know, the technology's better there, so... Surely they did fix it, right? Okay. Pretty simple. Just fit in the hole. And we can grab the Jiggy. Even though this Jiggy counts as ones we've collected in Hail Fire Peaks. So that puts us at 66. Alright, next up I'm going to go to where we can learn the uh, next move here. It's um, for Kazooie only and you got to go quite, a f quite far to get to it. Because there's this big cave on the ice side. Scratch ear. Oh. Okay. Sliding down the slope. I'm just going down the slope. Oops, I think I went the wrong way. I wasn't meant to, was I? No, I wasn't. You idiot. It was actually near the drill and you just went past it. Don't go derping now. You did enough of that before. Let's win now. Win. Win, I say. Win. Yeah, this this cave entrance. This is the... Um, what was this place called again? Ah, uh, the Icicle Grotto. Some of the icicles in here will come alive! The reason I'm in, he I'm in here with Banjo on his own is because there's something that only he can grab here. Up oh, game. Camera! Thank you. Yeah. That's right, there's a Cheeto page in this room. What is the... wrong with a camera? 
That's ten! You know, for two cheats. Oh. <laughs> well, I we can. Oh, we're stuck now. Now we have to get in the backpack. There we go. Oh dear. Okay, more grenades. Good. So now I think it's time we reunited Banjo Kazooie so we can explore more of this cave. Because at the very end of it will be a new move to learn. And this move is needed to get quite a bunch of stuff that we couldn't get the first time. Like, um, yeah. That, that one jiggy in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Another jiggy in Granny Industries. So the sooner we learn it, the better. Together again! So we're gonna go back in the Icicle Grotto so we can go around there. Oh, get our grenade eggs ready for something in there. And watch out for the killer icicles! Okay, still missing a few notes. Actually, I think it's a treble clef we need. Fly! <laughs> First we have fly, then we have fly, and then we have fly, fly again. Fly! This is where we put the bleh, Cheeto page before. Oh. Okay. No more fooling around if you don't mind, guys. Right. Okay, there's a frozen ginger in here, but oh, it's fake. Yeah, they get pretty crafty, those minjos. Oh dear. Okay. We can get back here quickly. Because now we, we are where there's a really big bombless pit. Okay, there's uh, there's a Jinjo around here, but we can't reach him just yet. Yeah, not even Kazooie's really big jump can get up there. Okay, let's split up. Kazooie's gonna go on by herself. So she cannot make that. It's a blue Jinjo. Right, look up here because. There's some icicles we have to break. While they miraculously float above the gap. Just break the seven icicles. Oh, two at a time! Okay, that's all of them. So now just very carefully get across. Oh, and. Yeah, remember, there's the treble clef nearby. Okay, you have to be very careful. Very careful. The treble clef's that way, but I'm not going to pick that up just yet. Oh, no. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Bye, Kazuri. I messed up. We'll just start again at the pad, so... I won't have to restart too far back. Oh, no, I don't want to... Okay, go on Kazooie. Only you can do this. Because on your other side is the, the move we need. Okay. This is a bit nerve wracking. Okay, we made it. Alright, this way is for an extra honeycomb piece. Looks like they're more like empty honeycomb pieces in this game. Ignore this place for now. We'll be coming back here shortly. I hope. Let's see, we're only up to, um, just up to nearly 15 minutes now. Yeah, I think I'll have time to do that bit. As long as I hurry. 
Prince will come out the other end, and here's Gem Jars. This is a godsend move. Glide. Now you're lifting, no big bear. Easy will be to glide through the air. Jump up high and then hold Z. Don't need fly pads or feathers red. That was the worst one. So yeah, now we can glide. And this move is insanely useful. Sure, when you glide you slowly descend, but you can still get very far with this. If I can just demonstrate it. This is gliding. And also you can combine the high jump with the glide. Uh, it takes a bit of practice to do, but you can do it. The idea is to just really just mash the Z button a few times when you're at the height of your jump. One more blue Jinjo! Let's get the treble clef. Oh! Okay, there we go. That's all the notes in this world. Let's join up together. Hold on a sec. Am I missing something on... Oh crap, I'm missing 10 notes on the Isle of Hags, but we've been to every area in the Isle of Hags now. So something along the way, I missed 10 notes. I'll have to go back and find those off screen. And just show myself collecting them. Alright, so that cave we entered. We're gonna go in there now. I can remember where it was. Oh good, I survived. Yeah, it's in here. Right, so in this, in here, we're gonna be on a time limit. We get a lot of time for it. As you can see, there's intense heat in here, so our our air will deplete very, very slowly, and eventually our life will go down for as long as we're in here. This is a pretty simple puzzle, if you would call it that, where we just had to hit these switches. They're all um, numbered in Roman numerals. Just hit all the switches, and you get the jiggy. Pretty simple stuff. We got a lot of time in here. But still best not to dwaddle. There's also some signposts over there. I don't think we can hit those read those now though. Come on now. Is number four. Oh no. Number five. And that that one has the, has the jiggy on it. Oh, what are you doing, Banjo? So really, this one's pretty obvious. Okay, we've still got plenty of time left in here. So, hit that switch. And there's our Jiggy. It also rises on another platform so we can read the signs. Oh dear. 67 jiggers. Nice. Alright, let's see what these signs say, because they could be pretty helpful. Or not. Hot links cold in the skull and wigwam. Basically, Mumble Skull and Wumba's wigwam actually linked together. When things get too hot, remember your bearded buddy. Gobi? Only a ball of great size can start the oil drill. Yeah, that one we already know. Okay, let's see. That, that's going to do it for now, guys. So, once I get out of here, I'm going to stop the video. So, next time on Banjo 2E, we're going to see what else we can do in Hail Fire Peaks. We'll likely be seeing to Mumbo. So, until next time, see you later.